Welcome back to another You Know Your Country Win video, and if y'all could like, subscribe, and comment for the almighty YouTube algorithm. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Texas. Story time. So I walk out to my truck from Cavender's, which is a, th a southern store, right? And you buy hats, boots, jeans, whatever the fuck you want there, really. And get in my truck, close the door, and this guy comes walking up to me, knocks on my window. I'm rolling down, and I say, can I help you? And he was like, yeah, I just wanted to tell you I like the truck. And I was like, thank you. And I asked him if he had a truck of his own. He was like, no, but I want one. I was like, oh, okay. And he checked out the truck again, and he was like, this truck looks pretty good for hauling. Do you haul stuff? And I said, yes, sir, I haul ass. And he looked at me and he was like, like donkeys? And I said, no, sir, my ass. Literally. I am driving a lifted Dodge Ram truck. My lifted Dodge Ram truck has blinding white LED headlights positioned exactly at eye level. I am currently tailgating you in the right lane, even though you're going 20 miles an hour over the speed limit and the left lane is open. There are Monster Energy and Box Racing stickers on the rear windshield of my lifted Dodge Ram truck. There are perfectly old. clean mud tires new. and massive chrome Fuck. rims. I'm sorry for sending it, but sending it's what I do. If you sent it like I sent it, you would make it through. We spend all this money just to break our shit. Then go and get it fixed and find a hole to hit. Put the pedal to the metal. Why does my when track look so long? Oh, wait. At least I can do burnouts now. a smart man but uh i know something's fucked up when i see it this is the redneck style of starting a pickup in the trail court <laughs> see that that's how it's done so one of the questions i get asked most often is about my dash so i'm going to tell you about it today if you can't tell it's made out of the original tailgate for this truck with the handle and everything bent it by hand over a 2x4. The pieces on each side were cut out of another tailgate I had. It has two more of these pieces on these weld seams right here for structure, so it's solid. Built it in such a way that I was able to use the factory mounts up top. And I built a 2 inch ridge along the whole bottom and side so I could use the factory mounting holes in the bottom as well. The heat here is controlled by the right half of the handle and the vent is on the left side. Fan switch, parking brake, parking headlights, if you don't know what this one is, I don't know. OBD1 port, the big red line lock button, my super ghetto indicator light panel, and my radio and my computer sitting on the floor. <laughs> Got the Innovate Wideband, some random fuel gauge from the junkyard, and this LCD monitor that I'll have to go over in another video because I'm out of time. Horn? I barely know her. You know what kind of stuff rednecks like to buy? Shiny stuff. We are attracted to shiny objects. UFOs, beer cans, fishing lures, if it's shiny, we like it. And if you think about it, most of the But I like the country guys for one simple reason. They're the only people you will ever get to meet anywhere on the planet. 
that are actually proud of what is supposed to be a derogatory name. They love the name Redneck. That is amazing to me. That was supposed to be an insult. Some guy walked up to some dude in his yard many years ago and was like, you're a redneck. And he went, I kind of like it. I'm going to keep it. Like, what? No. You're supposed to get pissed. Pissed. I'm going to tattoo. Put it on my truck. Get your ass out of my yard, man.